Kevin Bastios here with tonight's final thought. Uh, this past weekend, while watching football, I was uh, inundated by the following two ads over and over and over again. When the Galaxy Note launched in 2011, it was ahead of its time. And naturally, when things are new and different, sometimes people aren't ready for them. Experts saw the bigger screen and were like, you look like you're talking into a piece of toast. The Note is an unwieldy beast. Now it's not being dismissed by competitors, it's being imitated. Thing is, the Note is more than big. It's about being more productive. Today people are saying, is it just me or does the new iPhone 6 look like a Samsung Galaxy Note 2 from 2012? It's cute how Apple thinks their phablet is a fresh idea when Samsung Mobile has been excelling at them for years already. Hashtag next big thing. The new Samsung Galaxy Note 4. The next big thing is here. Wait, are you running full Adobe Photoshop on a tablet? Yep. But it's not just a tablet, it's really a laptop. It's a Surface Pro 3 with a touchscreen. Well, it can't be as fast as my Mac. Sure it can, and it is. But you probably can't plug anything into it. I have a USB, mini display port, plug away. And this is my favorite, it's the kickstand. So you're saying it does more than my Mac? Well, technically, you said it. Um, so there you have it. Um, two examples of something that we used to say in the old days when you have to refer to the competition specifically, in this case, Apple for both uh, companies, then you are saying something about your position in the field. Um, if you have to point to the other guy and specifically spell out their name, then you are more or less saying that they're the model and we're chasing after them. Even though both ads, especially especially the Samsung, is saying that they were there first and now the Apple is catching up. So I just, I just found it very interesting that over and over and over again, I saw these ads where Microsoft, who really has, a, you know, in the PC world, it still is to this day, you know, 2014, uh, Microsoft's world. They, they have the most desktops they have you know the, the broadest reach in terms of their actual OS is in the field um, but when it comes to marketing this this device uh, the um, the surface pad they feel the need to compare themselves with the competition in their ad and um, same with with Samsung uh, poking fun at Apple and in its ways um, I just I just found it very interesting that um, both of these companies chose to, um, to to do their marketing this way. So we will see uh, what how this actually turns out in the coming weeks and months. Um, this past the the release of the uh, Apple device, the Apple at this point the Apple phone, the one that was compared to in the Samsung ad, uh, according to some of the numbers I've seen. Uh, has been reported to have had sales of over four million over the the opening weekend, um, so that's that's something to note in terms of uh, record breaking uh, numbers. The other side of the coin that I've heard from Gazelle.com, which is a a company that purchases used devices from people who are wanting to trade up, which is one of the processes that I've done um, many times. They've reported that after the launch of, or after the announcement of the uh, larger Apple iPhone 6, they've seen a huge spike in uh, people trying to sell to them their Samsung phones. So it does seem like there is a large market for the um, phablet phone. But what we do seem to see is this trend for people who have left iPhones because they didn't have a large enough phone and thus going into the Android Samsung market but now that Apple has addressed that particular need with these two latest announced phones what we've seen is that Gazelle has reported a huge spike in, uh, in uh, parties wanting to sell their Samsung phone Assuming that what they're doing is they're, they're wanting to uh, purchase the newer uh, Apple iPhone 6. So 
So we'll see how this actually turns out. But I've always, I, I, you know, I find it interesting that these two very strong companies, you know, Samsung selling everything from dishwashers to electronics is is mentioning the competition in their ads and Microsoft, who in the uh, high tech world of personal computing owns or has owned this space for decades is feeling the need to make this direct comparison um, you know, with the uh, Apple product. So there you go. What the, what does that mean? Um, so that's my rambling thoughts for the night. You can catch more of my stuff at jobustios.com or jbbsfinalthoughts.com. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.